CNP mini bites in nutritional psychology. Research served up in tiny bites to improve your diet mental health relationship. Brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, CNP. Can dietary prebiotics reduce the rewarding effects of high calorie food? Let's find out. We're all familiar with the intense pleasure we can experience from eating delicious food. This pleasure is generated by the brain's reward system, a complex network involved in motivation, pleasure, and reinforcement. This system becomes highly active with the consumption of tasty foods. However, dysfunctions in this system can lead to uncontrolled eating and obesity, particularly with frequent consumption of foods high in fats, sugars, and specific additives. The discovery of the microbiota gut-brain axis, which connects gut microorganisms with the brain, has opened new avenues for understanding the influence of different food types on the brain's reward system. In 2023, researcher Evelyn Medawa and her colleagues proposed that high doses of prebiotics might impact this system by altering gut microbiota. They conducted a study with 59 overweight adults who received prebiotic fiber supplements and placebos over two 14-day periods. The study was double-blind, ensuring that neither participants nor staff knew who received prebiotics or placebos at any time. Functional magnetic resonance imaging revealed that prebiotic treatment reduced the brain's responses to desirable, high-calorie foods in certain areas of the reward system. The treatment also altered the gut microbiota composition, with specific bacterial changes linked to brain activity alterations. This study shows that prebiotics can moderate the brain's reward reactions to high-calorie foods. It suggests that targeting the gut microbiota could offer new strategies for managing eating behaviors and enhancing mental health. CNP Mini Bites in Nutritional Psychology Brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, CNP. Visit us at www.nutritional-psychology.org to learn more.